Ollie's Farmers and welcome back to another episode of Ollie's Farm and today Bartlett's have arrived on the farm and they're ploughing up the land here with these big fence. I'll just show you now. Here comes one. It's a big fence tractor here. A big 936 Vario. Here she is. With a sumo front weight on there. And on the back a Cavernon plough with I don't know how many furrows just yet. Look at this absolute beast on the farm today. A seven furrow plough is it? What an absolute weapon. Seven furrows, yeah. Seven furrow reversible Cavernon plough. Oh, look at that. There will be a lot of weight in that plough. And there she goes. So the Fent 936 and the Cavernon plough there are turning over the soil and preparing it for the next Fent which is coming along after it and it's got a ridger on the back and the reason it's got a ridger on is so that it can make these ridges as you can see just here and what the ridges create is the beginning of a bed for the carrots to go in so let's go and check out this Fent here which is ridging the ground ready for the carrots. Look here at the size of the beds which that fent has just formed. I've, I'm now standing in the bed here and it's coming up to just over my knees, knee height there and they are very very deep indeed so that's why they're using these very big high horsepower fent 936 tractors. The big 936 over there on the seven furrow plough and this 936 as well with the ridger on. So the fent tractor which is ploughing is ploughing the lands for the ridger which is now coming in and it, we'll just see it come past again um, ridging up the land here ready for the carrots. For those of you who don't know the farm here is very sandy so although they're quite big tractors it's still relatively easy work for them because this land here is so light and sandy which means that it's just really easy for these tractors to pull their implements through the soil here and the soil is also part of the reason as to why you can actually grow carrots here on this farm because when you harvest the carrots the soil simply falls off the carrots when you're harvesting them and also when you're growing them in the beds the softer soil here allows for the carrots to simply grow straighter in their beds. So I think there's a fence behind me here now. Uh, but I'm just having a great time just watching these two massive fence drive past. Not two 936s, look at that over there. Look at the size of that implement, that ridger on the back. It is absolutely massive. It looks like it's something from a mining operation. So in it goes into the ground. You can see the front's just cultivating the land there. And then it's the back two plates there which actually create the ridges. Look at that. And away she goes.
and down the plough goes there. And away it goes, back turning the soil over, incorporating the lime which has been spread on this field, and also the organic matter from the winter. It's incorporating it into the soil. It's burying all of the trash and the organic matter, like I said, into the soil bed there, ready for the carrots when they're planted later on in the month. So these Fent tractors, these Fent 936s, are 330 horsepower, and on boost, they go up to 355 horsepower. They've got 7.1 litre six cylinder engines, which are Deutz engines. The, the tractors are quite similar inside, believe it or not, to the Fent 724, which we reviewed the other day, um, although they are considerably bigger than the, uh, the 724 we saw. They've got a much bigger frame, much bigger chassis, much bigger engine, which is what gives them the absolute enormous power and torque which they need to carry out the jobs which they're doing. And that's why Bartlett's uses these two fence. Yeah, so I was just speaking to the operator there and he said that they've got three, um, they've got three fence uh, Bartlett's, they've got three fence uh, 936s and, um, oh, here he comes, and um, there's also some separators working just down the road we can go and check out, which will be pretty cool. Um, he also said that the, the plough wasn't going in the ground very well to begin with when he actually puts the, was putting the plough in the ground. Although you couldn't see it very well, the, the fent was just struggling initially to just get it in the ground. Because it's been so dry on the farm and we haven't had much rain and because this um, farm is so light, you lose the water in the soil very quickly. So that's why the ground is a bit hard at the moment on the farm. And that's why I think he was just saying about the plough is uh, has just struggled not so much he hasn't struggled putting the plough I think it's just getting the plough in uh, to begin with has been a bit of a problem so we've got the the Bartlett's plough coming in ploughing up the ground then we've got the obliterator with the ridger on the back making the ridges which is what's making the beds and then afterwards there are some separators some de-stoners which will come in and separate the stones out of this soil and move the stones to one side of the field and that's what we're going to go and see next because they're apparently just down the road so I'll go and catch them up and see what they're up to So here are the de-stoners and what they're doing is separating the stones from the soil. The de-stoners will be heading back to the farm soon to go and do the fields which we just saw with the fence tractors. On the left hand side, the de-stoners, the scan stones there, they're just picking up the, the soil, sifting through it with the webs and then depositing the stones over a bed. So you can just see on the bottom here, here's, look, here's all the stones and clods which have been taken out of the soil. Um, and then they're just depositing them on the right hand side and then when they get to the end of the row they then pick this row up and then go over again until they get all the way to the end of the field there so that all of the stones are pushed away to the side of the field so that's what de-stoning is and they've got to do it so that the, the beds are free of stones anything essentially which can be picked up by the harvester um, and also one of the big reasons as to why the stones and clods of soil are taken out of the soil is so that the soil is soft and they're trying to create a soft seed bed so that the carrots when they're growing can grow nice and straight um, so that when they when they've grown in the supermarkets everyone likes to see um, a nice straight carrot. So that's another reason um, as to why de has to take place. Down here in the carrot beds, we can see that there's one, two, three, four, five de-stoners, and there was also another de-stoner as we came into the field as well. So that's six de-stoners working this land. And the reason as to why um, they have to use so many de-stoners is because they're really, really slow. As you would have seen that last de-stoner there, it was moving very, very slowly. So you need a lot of de-stoners to cover a lot of ground to be able to get ahead and, and plant the, the crop quickly, the, cro the crop of carrots quickly. So um, that's why they've got so many de-stoners, um, for those of you guys who are wondering. The guys have all just pulled up now to uh, finish off the day. So we've got a New Holland T7 230 at the front there, and then we've got another one behind that as well. Um, and then obviously we've got another one just pulling up at the end. And there we go, he's finished for the day today, so they'll come back tomorrow and finish off the rest of this field and then they'll be back again to go on the field, which we've seen today with the fence, to finish that field as well, so they've got a lot of work to do. Oh, just hitting on the bed there. <laughs> so there we go, that's the whole lot. 
So the destoning fleet is made up of New Holland tractors and then the ridging tractors we saw which were the big fence are like the ridging and main tillage tractors. There's also as well quite a high horsepower T7 New Holland which you guys would have seen in a previous video which was with the obliterator earlier on in the year when they were cultivating up a, a piece of land. So there we go guys another day over and done with. As you can see they've done a great job today and the guys have uh, really been working flat out today uh, to try and get this field done. So hopefully you guys have enjoyed today's video. If you have, do tap the subscribe button down below to subscribe to the channel and you can also tap the little bell to be notified when there is a new episode of Ollie's Farm and do give the video a thumbs up because it means a lot to the channel and it really does make a difference with the video. So if you could give this a thumbs up that would be absolutely fantastic guys. And as always guys, do comment, rate and subscribe for plenty more videos to come. Like the sound of fire.